President Donald J. Trump's 4th of July 2019 celebration. It seems likely that everyone and his brother is complaining about President Trump's parade planned on the 4th of July 2019. Is the world ignorant? Does everyone think that he's recruiting hundreds of soldiers, airmen, and sailors to march in this parade? Did he go out and train pilots to fly overhead? Did he go out and purchase airplanes, tanks, and other military equipment to participate in the parade? Duh, I think not. There are no new personnel, aircraft, tanks, or other equipment being purchased. All the equipment has long been paid for, and this parade is just another way to test drive it, show how we can mobilize on short notice, and to display it to our citizens. And ditto on the personnel. All of the personnel are paid by the month. There are no new hires. They are already being paid, and they get the same amount of monthly income if they sat on their behinds and did nothing or be mobilized to assist in the parade. And they don't get paid overtime for working on the 4th of July either. They are government employees. Oh, but we will need to feed them and cover their travel expenses. After all, they had to be transported to the parade by bus, train, plane, or even driving their own cars to the staging areas as well as lodging. There are so many support services available in the D.C. area for the participants as well as the attendees that there is no need to mobilize the expert military support services. The marginal expense for the incidental travel, meals, and other expenses is but a just a drop in the bucket. Why don't you complainers and naysayers go barbecue some crow for your main meal of the day? Give President Trump some credit of thinking some positive thoughts on how to have a great 4th of July celebration. And further, you naysayers should remember, President Trump is not dipping into the till for fireworks. Or did you forget that most of the fireworks displays over the holiday are being sponsored and paid for by a number of individuals and non-profit organizations? In conclusion, as a former soldier with military parade experience, I believe that every one of those participating in a parade will be very proud to do so. I would. Being in the military, we are familiar with the preparations needed for inspections or parades. That included polishing our boots and sprucing up our uniforms. And then at the proper time, each of us would pull in our guts and throw out our chest when it came to marching as the proud soldiers that we were. Most of the naysayers have done little except for complaining.